Hey friends, it's Susan from LegsLikeMine.com and um, I am back to the land of the living after going to the Lipedema World Congress in Potsdam, Germany. Unfortunately, I contracted COVID while I was traveling or at the conference or something, so I've been in uh, kind of laying down for the last couple of days. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys a couple uh, updates. One is that the Congress was wonderful and we got some really good ideas that our team is already starting to take action on. One of the things we learned is that a group in Germany, they do four day intensive workshops on how to manage your lipedema or lymphedema. They do stuff like um, how to bandage, all about compression, supplements, just all the things that are conservative measures. And um, these workshops are basically the cost of the hotel. They do them over two weekends. And so I've um, taken the information about their workshops and I'm working with that German group to find out if I can get the curriculum because that might be something that really helps ladies with lipedema. The other thing they do is they publish some brochures about conservative measures and um, they're in German, but I got them and I'm gonna be working on translating them in the meantime, with the Lipedema Education Group, um, I have just completed the first draft of a patient guide on conservative therapies. And it includes all the stuff, compression, um, even down to like uh, cavitation and shockwave therapy, um, dry brushing, MLD, all the things, right? So anyway, it talks about all that stuff. Um, and so now that will go to the doctors on the lipedema education group to especially look at the supplementation area because that area has been changing quite a bit. I wrote it, but we'll see what ends up happening. Um, it's all based on research stuff. So anyway, um, let's see, what else did I learn from the Congress that was really, really good? Met a lot of people. Um, anyway, so while I was in Europe, uh, my shoe arrived. This is the sample, the first sample of the legs like my lipedema friendly footwear. And I wanted to show it to you because it's not like any other shoe that you will see. It's designed specifically for ladies with lipedema. And I'm super excited to finally have a prototype in my hand. So the top of the shoe, I'm going to see if I can put my hand back here. It's got this V design in the top so that it can um, increase for swelling or different size shoes and stuff like that, different size feet. And then there's this area on top where there's an adornment that can actually be changed out, right? And the adornment is on top of um, elastic so that if your foot's swollen, the adornment won't hold you back. The top line, this part here is called the top line. And the top line is super padded because this area of our feet normally, and especially like in flats and stuff where we cut across the joint, we want it to be soft and gentle so that it doesn't hurt our feet. There's a big loop in the back of all of my shoes that will help you pull on your shoe with either um, your finger or like a tool. There's all kinds of tools that you can use to pull your shoes on. And then as you can tell, the bottoms and the real soles on this model will be black. This is just the prototype. But the um, they have really good tread, good wide base, and then um, they're really deep shoe cups so that they'll be stable and comfortable. They're actually made for people that are a little bit heavier, not like, like a Skechers or a foam bottom that tends to collapse um, after just a few wears, right? So the top will be made of suede on the first model and so that gives it some extra stretch and then what we learned from the lipedema ladies group in the uk who they were such gracious volunteers to help us try on the shoes is that this back is too high for people who have any kind of cuffing and we have these you know extra large ankles so we're um after this prototype we're lowering the back so that it doesn't rub or cause problems with the back of our ankles and our cuffs so um, thank you lipedema uk group because that was this feedback is probably what's going to make the shoe wearable for a lot of us right um anyway so the first order is going in today they're going to be all black and then we have another color all red and i'm ordering just a small number of them because I'm still looking for feedback. We want to learn as many lessons as we can off of these shoes because the goal is not to get rich. The goal is to help as many people. I literally emailed with a lady today who does not leave the house because she does not have shoes. It's crazy. 
So, um, I'm hoping that these shoes help a lot of people. And look here, it's got my logo on the inside, legs like mine. And then a removable um, sock thing. And then this insert, which is not like normal shoes. It's really thick. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, that's the COVID talking. And so if you have one foot that's swollen and one foot that's not, you can just um, put the insert in or take the insert out. My mom um, has lip edema feet, and when she tries the shoe on without the insert, it fits perfectly. So there you go. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I'm losing my voice. Bye.